Hello friends, welcome to Lard Institute at Transplant Center. Myself, Dr. Gajanan Jadav. I'm an sociologist, dermatologist, and hair transplant surgeon. Today's topic of discussion is what is stem cells? Are they useful in hair treatments? What is the role of stem cell hair transplantation? What is the role of EMT? What is EMT? Is autologous micrograph transfer or any other treatments related to stem cells? So there are so many confusions right now in the hair treatments. So these stem cells are what to do it or this is just one of the treatment like a PRP or other kinds of mesotherapies as well. So what is stem cell basically? We will discuss about that first. So body has got a lot of stem cells. They are present in bone marrow, they are present in a fat, they are present everywhere almost in every organ because those organs are reproducing those organs are regenerating they have to have a stem cells to reproduce so as you know that each hair has got hair cycle so there are three phases of hair cycle called anagen ketogen and telogen so anagen is a growing phase ketogen is a resting phase telogen is sharing phase of preparation of the sharing phase everybody feels hair fall Everybody has noticed hair fall, but everybody doesn't get bored. What is the reason? Reason for that is when your hair goes into a telogen phase, again it starts producing a stem cells and it has got stem cells, we start producing again a hair follicle or regeneration of hair follicle. So that at that particular time, after a, maybe a three months of the period, you might or you will see the hair follicle again, you can see the hair again. So that is the property of stem cells to reproduce, regenerate. So this is the property where scientists and doctors started thinking about the problem of baldness. Can we do that? Can we inject a stem cells into the bald area where we can recreate the hair or we can regenerate the hair? So this process is called stem cells transfer where we are expecting to reproduce a new hair. How is successful? What is the criteria for a stem cell transfer or autologous micrograph transfer? So here, right now, what we have achieved over the period of year is we can separate a stem cells from fat cells, bone marrow, or hair follicles. So that is possible, but what is the results? Right now, if you transfer a stem cell on a body area, Still, we are not able to regenerate a new hair. But if you inject that solution of stem cell into a weakened area or the miniaturized area or the area where you are experiencing a severe hair fall, it will tend to improve the quality of hair. It will improve the length of the hair and it will start producing more thicker hair compared to what we have. So this is one of the alternative treatment for the patient who are suffering for a persistent hair fall or persistent hair loss due to androgenic alopecia and other causes of hair fall. So if you start doing a treatment of stem cell transfer, patient will have a good result along with the medicines called minoxidil and finasteride. So if you consider only a stem cell transfer with the medicines, till now we are uh, not having that much data where we can suggest only to go for a stem cell transfer. You should have a medicine along with the stem cell transfer so that you get the better results. So what is the frequency of stem cell transfer? Ideally, we suggest only one session of stem cell transfer or EMT for your hair fall treatment. Is it the same of PRP? or mesotherapy or GFC? No, it is not same. Because in PRP, we're just taking out the blood and we're injecting a growth factor. In mesotherapy, it's a ready-made cocktail of uh, some vascular endothelial growth factor, some keratocyte growth factor, some fibroblast growth factor. But in stem cells, we are having a molecule or a tissue we can, uh, which can have a property to regenerate. So this is completely a different entity from your routine hair care treatment. So definitely, if you are looking for a something better treatment, uh, AMT or stem cell transfer is the choice nowadays. So 
when we can expect the treatment to be started we are launching the treatment from 1st of october in all large density hair transplant centers so you can avail that treatment as well thank you very much for watching this video we will come up with a new video with new information till that goodbye